Hello everyone, welcome back to Bot and Kaidos. I figured out where to go, and I almost uh, messed up my recording in the last episode. I had to do an edit because I accidentally hit uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the stop button way too early. So, if it seems weird at the end, that's because I hit the stop button too early. Anyway, um, I found I had just remembered you have to talk to everyone in the town, uh, even in the houses, before she comes back. So we did technically sequence break. But I'm gonna go back eventually and see if I can go to the boss, like now. Uh, not 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 now. Now I'm gonna re actually play the game. I just want you uh, to know that I'm gonna go try and see what happens. Anyway, this is a little cutscene I found. One day, a swirling whirlpool engulfed the land, and Mira fell into a dimensional rift. Mira was about to sink into an abyss so deep there was no hope of it ever emerging again. It was then that a group of mysterious wizards appeared from the depths of the earth. The wizards, calling themselves the Guardians, saved Mira somehow. The Guardians spoke these words to my ancestors. Five great evils lie buried in this world. None should ever attempt to enter them. Should they be unsealed, all five evils unleashed, our world would succumb. The everlasting curse of the evil god Melpertia. Melpertia will never be restored to his full light, for the Guardians destroyed his evil in its entirety. However, should the white winged darkness alight upon this land, the world will disappear without a sound, swallowed by a maelstrom of chaos. This story is from the dream of a great whale, wise man. It goes back to ages, before the continents rose into the sky, when Earth ocean and man still lived as one. What happens after that is no longer known. Our only hope is the ocean long lost. Find us, almighty ocean, and forgive us. Our only hope is the ocean long lost. I'd never heard that story before. Most people these days don't know of it. The young seldom listen to the musings of us elderly. Wouldn't you say? I figure the five great evils must be referring to the end Magnus. The five end Magnus, holding the power of Malpercio, wicked god of death and destruction. It sounds a lot like the king's story in Diadem. But what was that part about Malpercio never being restored fully? and the white-winged darkness? Since the Guardians completely destroyed Malpercio, he can never be resurrected. But what about the five great evils, or end Magnus rather, being unleashed, and the awakening of Malpercio's curse? What could that possibly be? And when the five end Magnus are unleashed, releasing the white-winged darkness, a maelstrom of chaos will envelop the world? I know this is a prophecy, or should I say warning, but I still don't understand what it all means. That's the nature of prophecy. We will know when the time comes. Yet wouldn't it be too late by then? Well, it's an old legend. We no longer know how much of it is actually true. Don't worry yourselves too much. Okay, let me talk to these two little kids real quick. Okay, they do little, their little thing. And I think that's everyone? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so now we're back on track. She's back. The lady is <clears throat> I hope they didn't harm you, milady. I'm fine. Thank you for your concern. Lady Melodia, we're so relieved to know you're safe and sound. Milady, Lord Kelbrin is expecting you. We should head for the manor. Very well. Let us go then. Okay, now we can go into the manor, everyone. Why did that one-winged freak come back anyway? Of 
after these people bully. Malformed wings are the direct result of a malformed heart. His soul must have been tainted at birth. Yeah, what a miserable, cursed life. That fire two years ago, he must have caused that too. Poor old Georg. He never should have adopted that kid. Nah, it's nothing. I'm used to it. People say those things all the time. They're just jealous because I'm beautiful. Serpentine! You can't get me this time. See? You can't get me. I serpentined. And it distracted you. Duke's Manor. Welcome. Thank you for taking the time to visit us. Welcome, travelers. I heard it was you who rescued my Melodia. I am truly grateful. Your other friend arrived a bit earlier. What other friend? All of us here at the mansion bid you a warm welcome. Please join the Duke upstairs. We get to go visit Duke Nukem upstairs? Heck yeah. This is what Duke Nukem did in his retirement. You'll be late. Oh. It's the great Mizuti. It's you. What are you doing here? <clears throat> the great Mizuki be here to protect the very important spot. Mizuki Cliff. No, because she has the best skin. Huh? The important ba? The Earth Sphere? What are you talking about? Lord Calburn, I have reason to believe you may know something about the end Magnus in this land. We have little time left. Emperor Geldeblame is plotting to release the five N Magnus and resurrect Malpertio. Please tell us, where is the N Magnus now? I was just asking Grandfather that same question. Please, Grandfather, tell us what you know. Hmm. The N Magnus are unique, very dangerous and powerful. I made them myself, because I am the Wizard of Oz. They are not to be disturbed. Melodia told me what happened, but is Emperor <clears throat> really trying to obtain them? He's trying to do something, all right. Yes. Three of the five N Magnus are already in his possession. Is that so? The Emperor must not realize how dangerous those things are. Long ago, the End Magnus seal field was discovered by one of my ancestors, a historian. He found it in the mystical garden and unsealed it by accident. This was what shifted Lyra to waver across the boundary between the dimensions. The End Magnus now lies under this manor, heavily protected. In the basement? I would never have thought. I knew I would have to tell you about this someday, Melodia. It is a dark legacy, handed down from generation to generation by the Dukes of Mira. Yet, till now, I didn't have the heart to tell you about it. I wish we could simply forget about it, and just leave it sealed underground forever. Grandfather, if this is the duty and birthright of our lineage, I will gladly take over the responsibility. Please don't worry. I will bear the burden of my heritage. Hmm. Melodia. I'm glad to hear that. The Duchy of Mira has a worthy heir. The entrance is in our ancestor's shrine. There is a hidden door that leads underground. You should have told her earlier. 
things would have been much easier. Giacomo! The Emperor's men? Does your Emperor truly intend to unseal all of the End Magnus? Doesn't he realize what would happen <coughs> to the world? That this would bring ruin to civilization yet again? We will know in due time. I'll be relieving you of your precious End Magnus. No! We must stop them! Sleeping on the job. Ah. Uh, oh my god. She's dead. I think this one's dead. <laughs> I'm okay. I, I think I can make it. No, he's dead. And the final member has joined our party. Okay, what level is Mizuri? 22? Uh, no, 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 not Magnus. Um, order. For a reason. Gonna get a little weird for a second. I don't know. It was a, I think a quip. No, can to remember what I had for them. Air. Deluxe wine. The Great Mizuri already has the Holy Grail, so we're good. And a revival. Um, rotten meat. That's a 35 chance of poison. Add extra wine. Alright. Let's get down there and get some kills. And then uh, on the next episode, we'll fight the boss. And we're back down here with the beavers. Look at them. They're little beavers. They're funny little creatures. And now the fun has begun. Kokolith Labyrinth of Mirrors. This is a challenge because you because as you can see, it's a mirrored world, and I want to try to get this right. The, if you see the bottom one, but you can see my feet on the bottom one. That's the one I usually use to explore uh, with. But I always keep track. I do not want to fight that guy. He is big. Ooh. Don't like this. Don't like this. Walk slowly. Oh, never mind. Like oh, good. It's just one. It's just one. Oh, no. More rotten fruit. Look normal. <laughs> Look normal. This thing has four arms. It can't look normal. Fire burst. That. Oh yeah, that's the damage we're looking for. From magic. Fruit of the Titans. It gives him an attack increase, but I can do the same. I can do even more damage. 
You don't scare me, you giant four-armed creature thingamajig. Looks like it gets, like, like, the, the, the stabby bits of its arms look like it could stab you, but then they start squiggling around like worms. So maybe they're like sharp worms. I'll take the tomatoes. First off, I don't know, Savina. Oh, damn it. Rotten fruit. What's that? Pine tree sap. Chance of paralysis. Cure flames. It can heal with the curry. Yeah. Oh, wait, I remember. Wasn't it... We'll use Callus for this. Um... We got something. Eh. I don't I don't remember where it is, but uh let's see, what's this? What's this do? Oh, there it is. That's what I was trying to get. That's for the great Mizuti. That's one of my favorite one of my favorite abilities from the Great Mizuti. Um I barely use the yell, so for until I can get uh the Great Mizuti's uh, class up thing. We'll deal with this. If I don't, if I don't get things at the correct time, I'm just gonna start. Uh, what is it? Oh, there we go. Hopefully, this is right. No. Yeah, this might be right. If not, nope. We need the yellow one. Wait, wait. There we go. Can't touch me now. So then I can plan this out. Let me adjust my table. I want to adjust myself in the seat so I can plan this out a little bit better. So it looks like spider's right there. He's right there. What's right here? Okay, this is the red one. So it's probably on the opposite side. No, that's the item. Away from the past. Ooh. Safe. <laughs> it's risking it, but it's okay. These guys are actually not that tough. I mean, they have the Fruit of the Titans, which gives them a little bit of a boost of attack, but other than that, they don't really do much. It's the crystal spiders that I fear. Blocking. What do I do? What, what do you do? 251, not bad. Wind blow. Fire burst. Kronos blow. And sorceress chakram. Okay, okay. Long sword, ray of truth. Fishing rod. Oh, another rotten fruit. That's fine. He's not much for the healing. As long as I have the wines, that's all that matters in the end. They're the ones that survive the longest. And then you can always get more. Holy Grail has a very high chance of curing death. Same with uh, the, the, the final form of the wine. And he's dead. I'll take that. Okay, here we are. And I think it's only two rounds. Yeah, it's, it's that and then there's this weird mirror world. And believe it or not, we're right here down at the bottom. 
I want to make sure I grab everything. Corona. The one we're following is the bad guy. Hmm. Hopefully he don't mind if we're following him. Okay, we have enough space over here to, to avoid. For it. Come on, right there. There we go. Yeah, you get. I, I like that mechanic. You got to use the mirror. Okay, this is the save point. So, I got to get to the save. Oh, let's see. I'm right here. I can see me up there. Stay in the circle so I can see his pattern. Okay, he goes around. I don't see any items, but looks can be deceiving. Hey, you mind if I follow you, dude? <laughs> yeah, I'm following him. Never mind. Go that way. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Okay, I'm going to end this episode right here because uh, we only had uh, a few minutes left uh, for my usual limit. So until tomorrow's episode, uh, keep your eyes peeled for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for a new episode like this. You know, the, the amazing crystal dimension we're in. But uh, thank you all very, so, uh, very much for all watching this. Uh, Tomorrow's episode, we will be fighting the boss because I believe we started at the star, so we gotta get to the moon. And when we get to that moon, that's to the boss, and that'll be the end of this Magnus leading us to the next area. So until then, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow.